Everything you need to know about the Magic Wand Tool and Autodesk Sketchbook. We'll start by locating the Magic Wand. It's with the Selection Tools. The Magic Wand has two settings. There's a slider for the tolerance, and there's a button to pick which layers are used for the selection. Let's start with the tolerance around 25. Think of the tolerance as the strength of the wand. The higher the tolerance, the more it can pick up. The Magic Wand can also use the selection modification settings. They're here. More on this later, start with it set to replace by clicking here. Let's use the magic wand to levitate some apples. First, we must remove it from the black background. If we tap the black with the magic wand, it will select the black color. Technically, it's only selecting the nearby pixels that are within 26 degrees of the color of the pixel that the wand touched. Many times, what appears to be all one color to the eye is actually slightly different color pixels all next to each other. Notice if I turn the tolerance down to 5, it selects most of the black background, but there are pixels that are not within the 5 degrees of the color near the apple. Maybe a good way to understand tolerance would be by selecting areas of a black and white gradient. If I click the middle with the tolerance set to 1, it only selects a small circle of pixels that are that white color. As I raise the tolerance, it will tolerate pixels that are further and further away from the source. The trick is to get the tolerance just right so that you can only select the areas that you want to select. I want to completely remove the black entirely, and I want nice clean edges. Good. All the background is selected. To remove it, click on the layer, and then click Cut. After you click Cut, the selection remains. When you have a selection made, you can only draw in the selection. Right now, our selection is the negative space around the Apple logo. Let's add a new layer. The selection is still there. Click here to invert the selection. Now the selection looks like the apple. Click here to nudge or move the selection. I'm going to draw in this layer, but the apple logo is in this layer. I'm using an airbrush tool and setting the opacity low. Then I will drag the new layer under the Apple logo. If you move this layer with the transform tools, it's like moving its shadow. So the magic wand is very effective at making objects fly off single color backgrounds. But what about more complicated backgrounds? Even if you turn the tolerance all the way up, some colors are just too different for the wand to select them all. Click here so every time you click, it will add to the selection. Sometimes even the magic wand can't do the job. So the magic wand isn't really magic, but it's still pretty cool. Oh yeah, the sample all layers, sample one layer. If sample one layer is selected, the magic wand only looks at the colors in one layer. If sample all layers is selected, the wand looks at the whole picture. So when I select the green with the magic wand, it goes around both the apples, even though the green and both the apples are all on different layers. Maybe it really is magic?